Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Been a hot minute. So um I just wanted to hop on and make this video. Um it's the first in my series of videos I'm going to be releasing over the next month about Basically what's been happening this last not even six months that I've been completely off YouTube and social media pretty much to this whole like last year to like pretty much three in general since I have gotten out of treatment like three, four years ago from the hospital. Um <laughs> a lot have happened. So there's gonna be different segments. Um I know I'm going to do one on just how this last six months kind of kicked into place how it all happened of me getting into treatment and what happened in residential what happened in php and the difference between this treatment center i went to and the hospital that i've always been going to and just everything and an update on a lot of things so buckle on in um so to start the title of this Serious is called I Am Libby. And many of you are wondering what the poop. Um, that is because I have decided probably about halfway through treatment, actually not even halfway through treatment. It was probably, I think around the beginning of May, I decided after a long talk with one of the other clients um, I was going through treatment with that I'm actually going to, when I get married, legally do it, but for now it's technically unlegal, not legal, but I'm switching my middle and first name around and I am actually going to be going by Elizabeth Amanda from now on. Um, even though paperwork isn't done yet until I'm married, I am going by Elizabeth Amanda and Libby for short um i know many of you may be like what the heck or like um this girl crazy um well i am but that's that's the point uh so that is a big thing that has been going on right now so i am going by elizabeth or libby uh which is a big change that's why the series is called i am libby and uh that is just kind of big thing um i haven't told a lot of people besides people i was in treatment with um my parents of course my fiance and my dog <laughs> um and like my sister uh it's just i feel like there'll be a lot of judgment around me wanting to switch my name i can assure you that's all it is is a name change there's no like oh i'm breaking off my engagement which clearly i'm not and i'm like going some other direction in life but no i have decided that i've always wanted to be going by elizabeth instead of amanda i've always hated amanda there's some negative stuff that happened around my name and so i decided after talking with my therapist my fiance that that is what i want to do so it'll legally be changed when i get married what stay tuned to that post about my stuff <laughs> sorry i'm excited um so yes, I'm super excited, but as you can tell, I'm home. I'm back. Um, it's been so exciting. It's been about a week since I've been back. Tomorrow will mark a week and I'm so, so thankful. Um, we actually, I got a surprise Blake, which was so, so incredible. Um, I'm going to do a little video on that with him. Um, just about how he's feeling and everything. So that stay tuned, be good. Um, but so basically just to give you a little summary of what's been happening uh i sent a semester at my parents house last fall to try to do a hail mary of keeping myself out of treatment um so subbed in the school district with them at around their house while living with them trying to just hold like i said a hair mary trying to be get recovered but didn't work at all Ended up coming back in December at Christmas time and lived here for the month of January. And then beginning of February, my doctor, when I finally met with my primary new, my new primary care doctor, she said adios and I got put into treatment. Um, so then I went to 
the university for a month because no residential place. Like my parents knew that if I ever went into treatment again, we all knew I wanted to go to, I needed to go to a residential place. I need to go to somewhere different than the hospital, a residential place, which was out of state because there's only, there's no residential places out of, in Iowa. None, none. There's only one inpatient, no residential, and like one PHB. So it's like nothing offered in Iowa. So I went and looked so many places none so well none in Iowa obviously but I called so many places and they would not take me where my health was I was too much of a risk with just basically the main thing was my weight was way too low I was way 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 too low my BMI was way 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 too low I pretty much was as my fiance and dad my fiance dad and everybody says I was basically dead Sorry, that's the harsh reality of it. I had to accept it. Still don't like the idea, but I had to accept it. That is what it is, but YOLO. Um, so that's that. Um, and I ended up, so I ended up having to go to the University of Iowa for one month to get my health back in track, or at least get my health good enough and stable enough to go to residential so then I flew by myself to Florida to the best treatment center in like oh life-changing um called Canopy Cove and they're in Tallahassee Florida and I stayed there for five months I believe about three of it was in res and then two-ish was in PHP um and it was so I was in treatment for about six months and I have never been, I, the longest I've been gone from home for treatment was three months and it was just a lot and it was very different from what I'm used to with treatment. So it was just being halfway across the country from your significant other, your, my dog is my baby and my family and I had to have my phone off for the first three days. It was just, it's a lot that I'll unpack in these videos, but, um, I can honestly say though that it changed me and there's still a lot of growth and a lot of room to go and a lot of ups and downs that'll happen. Recovery is not linear. Um, it'll be a mess and a bump, but I feel a lot stronger than I have. And I feel like going to residential and going to Canopy Cove really did change me and help set me up to recover and stay in recovery. And the two individual therapists I had there, the one at Res and one at PHP, I will forever be thankful for. They, I will never find therapists like them ever again. <laughs> When you have someone who just, when you find someone who's willing to work with you through the bad and the good, Canopy Cove helped separate me from my eating disorder and were there for Libby and not for my eating disorder and changed my life. So um, now I'm back. I am starting a new job, um, buying cars for a company from home. I start hopefully next week. We just have to get like computer stuff figured out because I have to get a computer for it and all this stuff so that's all coming and so it's gonna be be a little bit but hopefully within the next week ish I'll start um but I need to take some time off anyway I'm seeing an individual outpatient team therapist psychiatrist primary care dietitian all that good stuff and just enjoying my life home and enjoying being with my dog taking walks for him with my fiance and cooking meals and watching some good tv shows and just enjoying being home um so yeah and uh getting ready for the future so thank you guys for watching um please subscribe uh and i like i said i have a bunch of other videos that are coming um i'm gonna do one on like 
inpatient versus residential, um, P- what PHP was like, uh, what res- how hard re- re- restoration was. I'm going to do one about surviving my fiance. So go and get good. Um, I just didn't want to like do like this whole hour video. So I'm going to break them up into little weekly videos to make it a little bit easier. So yes, thank you so much. Um, stay tuned and I love you all.